What's up everybody, this is Reese here from C-Manga and welcome to my review of Kenichi chapter 574, I believe. So yeah, the fight between Kenichi and Kojima is pretty much just continuing on from last week and oh my god, it is heating up to a new level, it is just freaking crazy, I swear. Kojima, he just has to be like, what, the strongest opponent that Kenichi has ever faced, like, to date. He's probably even more, he's stronger than freaking Kane Sho. It's like... This guy is just no ordinary disciple, you know. Everything that he's doing is just on a completely new level to anything Kenichi has even seen. Um, obviously, you know, they're kind of like born from the same stuff and everything. So it just kind of just shows like the whole difference in their beliefs, exactly what that can produce. It's just some crazy stuff right there. <laughs> so yeah, um, Kojima has obviously got his Dokai active at the moment and he is just a beast. I swear, his new technique that he's using... Um, Sorry if I butcher this, I think it's something that it goes on like Shino, Shino Gidachi, I think that's how you say it. But yeah, that attack there, that is just a force to be reckoned with. It's basically kind of like he's building up his Kai and then he's unleashing it in a powerful strike which becomes pretty much unblockable. So yeah, obviously Kenichi, well the reason we know this is obviously Kenichi was blocking and even though he was just able to block it, his whole entire right side of his body went numb. I swear, it's like obviously, if it was the left side of him, they could have made a little joke like, if, uh, oh my god, is he going to have a stroke? But no, if he didn't block that, I swear, it would have definitely killed him. Um, so yeah, uh, <laughs> if you get hit by that, you're just screwed. Um, but yeah, in this chapter, we do get to find out um, that this uh, kind of attack right here, it is kind of pretty much a, a complete and total double-edged sword. You know, straight after you see um, Kojima using it, it just kind of looked like just blood just started erupting from underneath his eye patch so yeah it's pretty disgusting it's something like i don't know it's like they i think obviously they kind of explained it a little more in the chapter something like um his control nerve system type thing is all built that's like he hasn't unlocked his system there with his kai and then it just burst out something like that you know it's a bit kind of yeah controversial type stuff but anyway, first time he kind of used this attack was um, during his training. And you know what? I must admit, I did actually really like this little flashback bit here. It kind of like gave a hell of a lot more insight into Saiga as a character as well. Um, you know, Saiga, it just went to show that he actually does fully care for his disciples. Because obviously when Kojima was about to use it, he's there like getting up, like all worried about him. Just like, what are you going to do? Don't do that. You don't know what it could do to you type of thing. Then you know, Senzu, he's just like, ah, yeah, screw it. Let him do it. Just let's, if we can't do it, then well that's all there is to him you know we're just getting a new guy so yeah he seems like a real dick to his disciples you know sure he can bring out their innermost strengths and everything but still he's a dick <laughs> he's just like oh yeah we're gonna see how far he can go if he can't do it well screw it we'll throw him on the pile we'll get a new one horrible but yeah um obviously when he first used that technique he was facing off against some super strong ninja dude and when he used it oh my god it's like that just looked like something out of dragon ball z you know when the dirty ass punches that go straight through the person uh filthy so yeah, you obviously killed that guy. <laughs> but anyway, back to the fight at hand. And Kojima is basically charging up for a whole nother strike. Um, you know, Kenichi, he basically fires out everything in his arsenal. And nothing can stop it. Everything he does fails. Um, you see, he's like, there aiming for every opening he can see. But Kojima, he just kind of like knocks it away. Just like, yeah, you can't hit me there. I've got this type of thing. I'm like, steel. It's so, ah, the guy is just filthy. I love it. So obviously, the only option left for him, well... Obviously, while he's there, look kind of like in the face of death. Is just he's just reflecting on everything, and the one thing that comes back to him is just to believe in his training. It's the same type of thing like if you guys read Ippo, you know, it's the same type of thing that Ippo does whenever he's kind of gonna lose. It's like I just believe in my training and it will get me through. You know, it'll always have the answers, which well, Kenichi ends up doing. You know, just believes in what his masters taught him, uh, believes in his martial arts, just believes in all of that stuff, and well, just as the final blow is ready to strike. Kenichi looks, it looks like Kenichi unleashes his Sekuken level 3. I don't know how the hell he learns to do that, but yeah, he just unleashes it. And yeah, he's able to pretty much just counter the Shino Gidachi and just smashes Kojima into wolves. So yeah, this battle, oh my god, so many flip-flops. It's like, I just cannot tell who is on top and who is going to lose with this one. Those two are just so even. It's like no matter what happens, some will bring out something new. The other person will bring come out from underneath and just bring out something to counter that. So, yeah, both of these guys are fighting at full capacity. I honestly do not know what's going to happen next. Kenichi, it just has not failed with this battle right here. Been waiting for it for ages and oh my god, it's crazy. I swear, every week I'm looking forward to seeing this battle. It's lovely. I love it. <laughs> 
So yeah, um, I guess it comes down to a thing now of who's going to win this battle and what are going to be the long-lasting effects of whatever the heck they use, of you know these two techniques they're using. Because obviously when you see Ryoto, when he used um, the whole Seikai and Dokai together, merging them into one, that pretty much what left him completely destroyed. You know, it almost killed Rimi for God's sake. So what the hell was this Shino Shinogadachi thing going to do? Seeing as how you're seeing freaking Kojima's eye rupturing, blood pouring out of him. What's going to happen to him? He's going to be dead after this. Who knows? I don't want to see that guy die because, yeah, he's a really cool character. But yeah, that pretty much ends up this chapter, guys. I loved it, but what did you guys think? You can let me know in the comment section below. And as usual, don't forget to check out the other things to do on the channel. So I'll see you next time.